They have a lot of ways to protect the Drow Ranger, to just kind of save her, either tossing her away. Like, Drow is really strong in lane, but if you're out of position, you're gonna punish really hard. You have to be really confident. This initial fight, okay, the bounty rune Swift goes so away. Much damage on Kaz Q. Yeah, Kaz Q deals way too much damage. You cannot fight them right no. now. Holy moly, look at that. That's terrifying. But Candlelum did take the bounty, so it's still a win for Star, honestly, unless they get a kill here. And Dreamer Cell is slowed. Kaz Q, second bounty damage. Yamate, no! Help your carry! He should have blocked that yeah, Kaz Q. But Dreamer Cell is gonna die here. Maybe Kaz Q as well. Nothing they can do. Dreamer Cell uses the fairy fire. Nope, that's the first death. First yeah. blood going to Mozu. Candlelum trying to get this. away. Kaz Q did out of damage. With the dual prep, second death. slow, rolling boulder, double kill for the Jakiro. Oh, Drow could be in trouble. Nice stomp to stop a snapfire from continuing this aggression. And Dream of Soul can just back down near the tower. She gets the extra aura, a bit of, of extra HP. Lot and with a multi shot, HP. harassing Yamate. Candy Loon really close. Karabas about to be useful. Dream of Soul though survives on just 20 HP. Meanwhile, Keskute is hunting Yamate with an arrow to give some more vision. Keskute is one hit away. He has the spirit. Yamate can start healing the tangle. The stomp will it hit. Nice. It will. Yep. And Yamate is out. Radiant's bottom tower. That team's yeah. an incredible aura spirit. And well. that's, that's what I, that's what I love because the skill ceiling on this hero is insanely high, right? Nothing against other heroes. It's a great arrow, by the way. On to Mozu. Does not have the, the Rabbit actually coming through as the Cookie Sun will only hit the Marana. Uh, but Rabbit committed there for a kill. Although the TP is actually, they're going to ignore Dream of Cell and set Tri for FBZ as the Boulder Smash. That's fine. He's doing his job. Three heroes down. He's into the trees. The Stomp catching two Ice Pack. Lively will miss. They will have the vision thanks to the Thunder God's Wrath. Uh, Boulder Smash again will miss. Only one bash here for Lance, so he has to commit the Chronosphere. Uh, rolling Boulder directly into the side of that, and... Not bad. Honestly, uh, kind of playing the dead lane anyway, which is what he does well. DDZ in the middle lane, though. Could be oh, no. the going for him. Not nice enough damage, alive. though. And DDZ still alive. They can throw the tree onto him. They get the kill with a tree throw. And Mikoto now in a song of ice and fire. Confused by Snapfire and Jakiro. Yes. And the, uh, sorry, yeah, magic armor resist. Uh, and, the, and the hero himself gives you the armor resist as FBZ kisses. Does get off the Hooded Defiance, so he's actually quite a tanky boy. Will have enough time to get off the Ravage. Now the Earth Splitter on top of that, but the Echo Stomp actually not connecting only onto the backline Candy Loon. That's going to mean Dream Assault. He's a bit too aggressive here. Back into the Macro Fire he goes. They will not finish up the kill on the Keskut onto the back lines. As uh, Task of Madness activated means the Lance is more than fast enough to catch up with the Drow Ranger. Yeah, with a smoke screen now, a smoke, sorry from Star, hoping to catch anyone, really, honestly. Hide's know. fine, but he has a support. Oh, he's just Okay, Keskit is gonna be the sacrificial lamb. Yeah. Kind of walking the ice path. Not the best positioning by them. And they use Thunder God's Wrath just to get a bit of extra vision. They grow. They want to prevent being surprised by an Earth player. <laughs> You know, surprise, Makoto probably surprised to be caught there. Lance with the Invis Rune now running into this one as he is from coming in from behind. Kisses raining down. They're gonna get the Avatar nearly bursting down Lance immediately. My goodness, unable to time walk that off. Dam uh, time walk that damage off rather. FPZ looking for a Ravage here, but slowed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you gotta spit it out immediately. <laughs> it's like eating spicy food and then trying to like drown it down with like a, a soda or something like that. No, with water, it, it gets worse. Yeah. Uh, team fight breaking out. I don't know, I just got it for now. Mozum, really nice side trap there. Tiny wants to initiate with a blink dagger. You could. Uh, it's harder to solo kill Mozum, actually. Jakiro's a good support against Tiny. Well, we have the blink dagger. Blink Ravage at the ready. Good high, oh, though. Yeah, out from Lance as the kiss is now raining down, but they can't kill Tiny. He's just too tanky now. Makoto holding down the Jakiro as well as the Earth Spirit. That's going to allow Lance to try and escape, but they might hit him here with the Earth Spirit. Nice! Oh, Let's my stop. goodness. Canceling the TP there. Marana will fall in the meantime, as will the Zeus, actually. Makoto probably contributing to his death at BZ. Continuing the chase now onto the Jakiro, trying to go invis. But they have the multi shot for him anyway, out from Dream of Cell. Makoto continuing to chase down the, the stragglers. Just can't be the left alive. Are they going to use Ravage for this? They will. So you have to use time loss in Avalanche. Toss back to Hyde. Actually, toss back to the uh, Siege Creep, which is going to give them the silence. Nayamate stuck between a rock and a very hard place there. There's really just nowhere to go. Your Scepter canceling the Rolling Boulder. Arrow's going to miss as planned for the kill to go still to Hyde after all. <laughs> Mozun. Better keep in time. Good ice path. Mikoto still trying to get the kill though. Good. There we go with the avalanche. Toss. Not used. Wow. Yeah, it's not the magical damage you have to worry about. It's Mikoto smacking you in the face. No, 
up and that caught Makoto though, kicking up back up towards the team right into the chronosphere. But even the double up committing this and the kisses, they really want Makoto dead. My goodness, Thunder God's Wrath on top. Lance not popping the BKB, looking for more. Onto Kesuri goes. Wow, that ice path just catching his back foot there as Hyde will have to set up for an arrow, but just using the Yules onto Yama to a marksmanship or a, actually it's not called that, is it? Yeah, it's just marksmanship now, not necessarily the aura is uh, going to be able to get some damage here, chip damage onto this tier three tower. No fortify available for either side, but a few ulties. A nice job in on Yamate though. Uh, gobbles even needed back into the fight. It's FPZ falling very quickly here to the Nimbus fan to reach in their last job, but he doesn't have a Kurt didn't DKP you and Makoto put in says thank you very much for sacrificing your life for us. Come again. Yamate is getting clipped down in the meantime by Dream Cell as he will get caught actually by the ice path. Candy Loon now jumping in with the blink dagger. Unbelievable. They actually managed to nuke her on her first life. And the style still ready to be used, but straight into the ice path she goes as Thunder God's Wrath. Everyone's so low, they can't really Oh great war two here. This is fantastic. Yamate, Yamate. There you go. Avalanche top. Go Yamate. Goodbye with the arrow. Guarantees the kill. When he actually needs it, but as at this point. Holding on to the Philosopher's Stone as there's Makoto making a jump at the bottom of the DBZ. Oh, nearly gets him, but the Ravage will do the trick for sure. Snapfire now still caught by that Ravage. Hive jumping right into the Nimbus, setting up for the arrow cookie already used. So that's going to be the easiest stun in the world for them. And Hide will be... Just from the high gun, see what they try to go for. Oh, gobble no, up. gobble up. Void? It's, it's Void alone from the high gun? They have a Chrono, but they only catch the Rana. That is not what they were looking for. Oh Just God, decimates it's... the Void. Ooh. Dream or sell. <laughs> Just took him down so easily. The poison hero won't stand a chance either. And that play could have been so good, but the Chrono unfortunately was not good enough. Yeah, FPZ is still fighting his own fight. He has a Ravage. He probably uses it, but no, the good Boulder kick. Smash. Safety DZ. Yamato is like, hit me, hit me, leave my carry alone. But he uses spider legs and a blink dagger. Still set up for the skill, and he alone will end up killing DDZ with Yamato now in trouble. Another good kick, but they're blocking the boulder smash. Oh, the rolling boulder, sorry. They miss actually the multi shot. Good game, says Dreamo Cell. Yamato might just be able to get away because of that. Yes, he does. No, oh, never mind. Blink. blink to block it. And Dreamo Cell now will finish him off. There you go. It's a gobble up. But I'm sorry, make that into kisses. They do have gobble up, so we'll see what they can make of it. And in they go, eating to the pit is Yamate. And they let the science great ice pack onto the drought ranger. Can they nuke her down the toss? Oh, to get her toss into the safety out of the pit. Firefighter Mokoto does well. Now the multi shot lance being shot down as FPZ is going to be able to claim the Aegis as well as to kill onto Roshan. Mozan in a bad spot here. As is our snap fire, who's going to get yeeted up, down. Nice uh, rolling boulder there by Yamate. They're broken as well as the animation. Will be our poor snap fire. Mozan teeping away to safety as still in trouble is DDZ Makota running him down and hitting him with the tree. Yeah, right? What? The oh, rat no. pressure? Uh, I don't think so. I need to help. Okay, double rabbit. You know. uh, wait, the Mormor Skits, okay. And actually, draw on the Drought is really good with the Mormor Skits. They can actually kill the Drought finally. This is the corner we're looking for the whole game. We still have a Ravage. However, without the damage of the Drought, you still fight this. There's about a community for the Zeus. They actually stop the Void. FPZ is the real carry now. He just reached level 25. He should get the extra damage. And he's fighting against the world. But they managed to turn this around. Mikoto cannot fight against everyone. He does manage to beat the Void, though, with FPZ killing off the Gush. He's still not taking a talent. FPZ, you madman. Get that extra damage. Can uh, cancel them all. He's still the Aegis, he starts the Refresher. He can actually refresh her in this life and ravage the second one if he wants to. Let's go. Come on, FPZ. That's his first life. He's gonna lose both, I guess. I don't think he actually doesn't have enough to refresh and ravage on his first life. He's so well, he could have refreshed on the first life and then ravage on the second one. Oh, the I see Yes, yes, smart. But, but he good. hasn't gone for the town. Just take the 200 damage, FPZ, please. No. They throw Void in. Okay, oh, display. No, the, the, the counter Yul. Arrow. Oh, great job. That's not the best BKB, though. I mean, there's not the best use of it. They stop Scotty and Dreamo Cell. That's your BKB wasted. In goes Mikoto. Doesn't seem to care. That's a great stun to set up for these two kills. Yamate will fall together with Candy Loon. And now it's time to go for the Rax. GG. GG. No, they call it. Mikoto jumped in there like, shh, there's Sleeping. <laughs> Very patient play there. But eventually, Boom Esports, they're, they're just it's too much. They're too far. 25k up here. The slow right siege. And that nicely done. Well played. I think FPZ to me is the MVP of that game. Though I do agree that Dream of Well, they have a lot of great single target and really good pickoff potential. He's got a good positioning here on the cliff, though, but I don't think it's going to help him. Chaos Bolt is going to be able to reach him, hit him with the Echo Stomp, arrow to follow up. And, uh, well, there he is. Body block and kill over to Makoto. That has. Wait a second. Candy Loon could be in trouble here. I don't know. There's no stop. Chaos Bolt, arrow sets up. Candy Loon gets hit by it. Oh. They can still body block him. They go for about two and five, but they steal it. Candy Loon still has the blood right. Can they kill him? The oh, science is good. Fast. Very well played by ET, actually. Yeah.
Nice. Primo Sally Vinchuk. And uh, she is currently still fighting versus Mozoon. Might actually end up winning this duel. The minus armor makes it a little bit less efficient. But two Star Storms. Arrow. Uh, hide. I've seen you throw better ones. Bottom. Bottom. That's okay. Our Titan's about to go down. Guess keep. Yeah. Candy Lynn gets that kill. They do a really good job. They didn't have any Amazing mana. No Dada Charge. He doesn't push Forest all the way home. As FPG is in some trouble top lane. High jumping in. Might not save his life. Here, unfortunately, FPG just turning for a little bit of extra damage now on Prudential Spirit. Who seems to be resigned to her death. It's the arrow. Will beats the uh, magic missile coming out. Oh, wow. Yep. On the bottom lane, though. Great D word by Mozoon as well. Even so, Alex got in the hop, but high with an arrow. Oh, oh, the the in. Yeah, the GDZ. This could be bad if they're on the beam started. They do at least get to kill on the Ventral Spirit, but they will lose FBZ to boot as they are fighting again down bottom. Dreamasol actually is going to be hit by the rupture, taking on down. Trying to turn by stun. Needs it. Will find it, but he still will die there as Yamato actually soft. kicking the boulder on through to, pick up, to collect the kill. The thirst movement speed now ending with 40 HP left here. And you want to trade against the enemy hero because it gives you such an upper hand in the early mid game in terms of TPS. Top lane though, lands in trouble. It's gonna be a chaos bolt and lands is dead. Yep. And they didn't give it to Dreamless so. The C team might be in some trouble here. Keskyu, whoa. Predicting the wrong boulder actually knew exactly where he was. Keskyu, nice stomp. Oh, and the kill over to Cam Loon. Find Mozun, lands that launch toss. And Mozun is bursted by Mikoto. Approaching the scan. Out from the radiant side, it's not going to find them. The Yamate instead might be the target of this game because they will TP the Drow away. It's a small prize considering what they could have potentially had, but they're going to take it no matter what. Kind of like tank up in that way. You don't need to use blood on yourself to deal physical damage. I think is likely dead here. As he's going to get away. Actually, DDZ stopping after he stuns him once. Trying to run the wall. Out. It will be Mozun and giving the kill over to DZ. DDZ, that is, but they are fighting elsewhere here, Avo. Oh, wow, big yeah. crits coming in there onto the Draw Ranger. Still might end up doing that. Is actually, they're going to scout it with this freshly first ward. Okay, thank you very much. That's not where they were expecting to catch him at all. But now a team fight is breaking out. FPZ looking to get on the wall, but it's going to be silence now. As Lance still alive, the war will get out now onto the Bloodseeker. DDZ still rolling around. They're in biz, but dusted up here. They do have the detection. There's going to be the kill now onto FPZ. Has a nice dodge there on the rolling boulder. But back here, Makoto actually has been ruptured. Great Ooh. interrupt there on the swap as the multi shots are not connected. Off to him, and they are gonna have a little bit of a tough time killing the swamp, which is delaying his death. But they're gonna find the kill eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, Mozum, same work. By the way, if you actually go to school, you know, a lot of people are actually the better schools will teach you this rule the ice bomb feet, yeah. trying to drift in it. Um, but I don't know if it's as necessary in this game. It seems redundant as Trima is gonna be forced off by the gust, actually popping as well. The uh, actually they're gonna turn this into a full fledged fight. Yamada with a beautiful uh, boulder smash on the two. Nice swap to get sure the Elder Titan is soft on stuff. They're going to realistically make it. Oh no, they're going to be alive. Nice arrow on the blood seeker. Very good play to like take it. Did you see what we did there, right? He blocked the arrow so they wouldn't get vision on the shot. Oh, nice shot there. Oh, okay, they're going to be able to blow him up now, but Bozo is still alive. Plus, many others. Great silence all around that. He's going to stop him. The roar. Oh my god, DDZ. Indeed, just running him down. They only get a three for one. Boom, Esports is not really getting it done this game. He recognizes he's really in no position to fight this early on. Roar. Oh, no candy wound, but a great swap out immediately. Those people following up with the Earth Splitter. Candy wound nearly dead. Actually, the thing to the Zoom summons is Dreamers. I will take that and still likely get that kill. But it really scares him off for now. Puts the fear of God in him, right? Yeah, that gust actually kills actually them with the rupture. FPZ commit suicide. The idiot is the one that doesn't do that play. Oh, Yamate actually takes that nicely. Yes, what a defiance, which is why he can't take that so well. And now the re initiate. They're really slowing him down. He can't do anything. And he actually untoggles right into the way he hits him. I mean, that was just tough. It's an hour here in the bottom lane. Let's see. With, oh, the rush is used a bit early, maybe, on the hide, but at least stopping this run from being impactful. Nice skills of the high to prevent this. And hey, Yamate, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? You got, you got lost in my face, my friend. And they just punish him completely for that play. Oh, now it's for Kim to die. Great shot, together with Agast as well, to make sure he had nothing to do here. FBC's ratting. <laughs> FBC's ratting. Yamate's not going to be able to catch him, unfortunately. Radiance That's the blink dagger goal that was for FBC. Uh, we did buy back here on your spirit just to try and stop the rat. 
which I guess you do. Now the blink roar onto DDZ. Lance continuing to just hit some creepers. They know there's no Radiant's realistic follow-up. He has the gust attack. anyway, in case it was necessary. Finishing off the bottom lane of Barracks now. Considering going for more, like neither swap here onto Makoto. He's not any defensive items and no recourse here. As Kesku can only offer an echo stop in his trying times, but it's not nearly enough. The Amate, though. Is DDZ? Well, DDZ has no chill. He just waits straight for high. They ruptured as well. There's two fights going on at the same yeah, time. Has Lance on the wants to get away. Lance with a gust. Good. But CK is still chasing after him. Lance, you only have the protection of Candy Loon. How are you going to help him out? The Yul's have to stop doing the cell. Mosun sacrificing himself as well. And everyone is here saying Private Lance with a constant blood rise. It's kind of working. FPZ closing on. But Candy Loon. I don't think they can roach fast enough, unfortunately. Let's see. It's DDZ into the pity go. The good position by Dream. So he just walk away. Illusion Rune, unfortunately, hit by the Rupture, as well as the Blood Right Lance running his way. DDZ as well off onto the high ground. He goes. Okay. 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 Boy, I'm a toggling, but he will be killed eventually. Oh, it, 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 wait, sorry. I'm going for the Alzheimer first. Thank you. Yeah, Blood Right to catch him. Usually it's hard to set up the Blood Right like that, but eh, with an Earth Spread, it makes it easier. And there's still, I don't know if they want to defend Roshan. I mean, they're, they're trying, I guess. Right? Crazy madman, he doesn't go in. Come on, Wolfman, inside to the outside, because there's nobody inside the door. And the Pango just kills him. Radiant's Meanwhile, the Vengeance still chasing attack. after Mikoto, just making sure they can take the Roshan, guaranteeing this. All right, sorry, just before they start fighting again. What did he see there when he was chasing Roshan after the CK? Right? You know what he was doing S's? Yes. Oh, there's a Chi-Chi. <laughs> you know what he was doing S's? They won't even let me say this. Yeah. As opposed to going straight, right? If you actually, as a Pango, go straight, it's actually super easy to avoid you. And pro players do it all the time. So by doing the S's, you actually can never tell when the Pango's going to turn towards you, and it makes it much harder to evade, and you can't really play around it unless you move back. Doing the S well, that and I think this is one of it. I think this is like a concept in naval warfare. As